Hello, welcome to Noobing Around Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to set up auto forwarding in Gmail. This is essential if you'd like to provide copies of certain emails that you receive to another email address. There are two methods, and you can choose later which one works for you. Method 1 Auto forwarding. Provided that your company has decided to enable this feature for the type of account that you are forwarding from, Otherwise, skip to method 2. This first method also works for non-business accounts on Gmail. Log on to Gmail and proceed to the settings page. Click on settings or the gear icon found on the top right hand corner of your Gmail screen. On the settings page, click on forwarding and pop or IMAP tab. Then. Click on Add Forwarding Address button, type in the forwarding address, and click Next. Click Proceed on the prompt. Now log on to the forwarding email address. As long as you have access to it, otherwise have the owner log on to it, then look for the forwarding confirmation link, or maybe look for the confirmation code. This information are found within the body of the email. Once the confirmation link is clicked, it should be good to go on your end. Otherwise, obtain a confirmation code within the body of the email, then click Verify on your end. Once done, the forwarding email will be in the drop-down menu. Click on the radio button that reads Forward a copy of incoming mail to the email of your choice and then set a preferred action from the drop-down menu beside it. Then click Save Changes. Once done, you will be reminded for 7 days that the forwarding is active. And you can also set filters that forward emails to your preferred email address. The second method is done on the Google Console. To log on to the Google Console, go to admin.google.com with an account that has administrator privileges. On the landing page, click on Apps, and if you can find it, as Google frequently changes their menu, refer to the menu on the left-hand side. Look for Gmail in the services and click it. Scroll down and click Routing. Click on the organizational unit where the account for routing should be set up under. Click Add another rule from the bottom right-hand side of the routing box. Enter your preferred settings, play around, and scroll down to view all other options available for you. What's good about routing on Google Console is you can use regular expressions to specify your envelope senders and recipients by choosing Pattern Match option. Once done, click Save. The routing changes that you made on Google Console may not be instantaneous and could take an effect in 24 hours time. And also, please note that the Google Admin Console menu and interface get updated from time to time, so I won't be surprised that the tutorial menu that you're referring to at the moment might not match the ones that I have in, in this tutorial, so it's best for you to log on to support.google.com for more information. Thanks for watching.